Yes, I greet you. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love. The church. So Prophet Jerome Fernando leads one of the largest churches in Asia, the largest church in Sri Lanka. Mighty works of God that are happening over there. This is a seasoned minister who has gone through a lot of trials, a lot of challenges, but he has come out victorious. And this is his testimony about his spiritual father, Prophet Uber Angel. Let's listen to what he's saying. I've been in the presence of my father, my spiritual father, prophet angel, one of a kind. I'm here to tell you what grace you are under now. Mm, you are under a mighty grace. I said a mighty grace. I've seen with confirmed video footage where thousands came to eat and the man of God just put a cloth over the little bread that was there. Prayed over it, removed it and the bread multiplied. One day I'm with my father. It was his birthday. I went into the room to get changed. My God, my phone is ringing and it's my spiritual father. Prophet Angel is calling me. I told dad you're there. You can just come here. I can come there. We can talk. I said, hello dad. Hey Jerome. In your phone, you received a message three hours ago. The name of the person is this. This is what he said. Do not reply. Stay away from that man. I looked at my phone and I said, yes. When did you check my phone? Never. It was in my pocket the whole time. This man of God who is my spiritual father found preaching in two locations at the same time. I speak to those all around Africa. You owe your prophetic grace to prophet angel. I mean, this is called generals of the faith. Anointings of kings. I was in the CID 11 times. 75 hours of questioning. One year of investigation. They asked me one question. What is your relationship to him? (laughs) I said, if you're wondering if I'm dealing with gold, no, I'm not dealing with gold. I said, my dear sir, Here's a letter from the government of Zimbabwe that clears my spiritual father from everything. They took the paper and they said, thank you very much. You don't understand, no ministry in this region has been tested like us. For us to be still standing, there's something specific, special, a grace God has given. Tomorrow, we'll still be here. Next year, we'll still be here. Ten years, we'll still be here. Why? You are superior in Christ. Christ is superior in you because you are a superior human being. Oh, that's so beautiful. And this same man of God, Prophet Angel, is going to be hosting Reverend Tom Amekanan, our very own Reverend Tom Amekanan. Okay, I can just say my very own, because this is an amazing minister, a symbol of what real loyalty is, what real followership is, and an embodiment of excellence. So I'm going to be seeing uh, Reverend Tom. He will be in Zimbabwe from the 2nd to the 5th, of May. I'm just going to let you watch his arrival. That's how he arrived to Zimbabwe over there, how he was welcomed. And one thing that really, um, you know, excited my spirit is seeing Prophet Angel actually driving him, you know, to where they were going. It's actually beautiful to see a sign of love and humility. And uh, some of you sent me this clip where you were saying that it was actually in the news like the Zimbabwe news that's what you said yes so I'm just gonna be playing the clip also because even it's all over uh, Zimbabwe news media this event that is actually coming let's listen the country's biggest a conference center, the multi-million dollar Harare Hippodrome is now complete and ready to host events the details are from Peter Jivima a visit to the Harare Hippodrome in Brisside this Monday showed that The iconic center is ready for business with a delegation from Nigeria jetting into the country this Monday ahead of a four-day conference at the multi-million dollar venue. Zimbabwe is a nation that believes. I'm expecting that as they believe and receive the word of God, there will be diverse kinds of miracles and blessings that people will experience. And they're going to talk about this for a long time. That was landing. I was proclaiming upon the nation of Zimbabwe the blessings of peace, righteousness, salvation. And that's what we will begin to see in an increased measure in this nation, Zimbabwe. The multi-million dollar project whose construction began in 2021 is the brainchild of Prophet Hubert Angel. With the country being endowed with an array of man-made tourist attractions and others said by natural phenomena, the Arara Hippodrome is also expected to contribute to the country's economic growth. Peter Jivima, ZBC News.
Arari. That is beautiful. So my Jewish family will be posting everything that will be happening over there here on this page. We're going to be posting everything because, you know, I love Pastor Chris. I love Rev. Tom. I love Prophet Angel. And I can't wait to hear the words that Pastor Chris is actually assigned Rev. Tom, you know, to share with uh, the people of Spirit Embassy, with the nation of Zimbabwe. I really can't wait to share them with so you. So there's this clip on YouTube, which I saw and I felt maybe it brings a lot of clarity to people of the essence, you know, the importance of this conference. Is it only strictly to people who go to Spirit Embassy or it's for everyone? Let's listen to what uh, the Spirit Embassy team has to say about this conference. In chapter 12, verse number 5 says, So we being many are one body in Christ mm. and everyone members one of another. <laughs> and I think it's it's such a season right now we saw uh, we saw our highly esteemed prophet uh, prophesying about things that are coming Mm. And where we see the body of Christ at an all time need to be united that's right mm. and mm. I think what we see now is a representation from God that's of right. the body of Christ uh, being united that's yeah. right as we see and, the, and I think the significance of this event in May is, is so important to understand and to express which is that uh, Pastor Chris mm. is we could say is the genesis of Prophet Uber Angel that's mm. correct yeah. and Christ Embassy is the genesis of Spirit Embassy mm. right. so what we're seeing now is we're seeing the genesis yes. and the, the father of our father mm. Pastor Chris yes. sending one of his generals his high rank generals mm. Mm. back to um Spirit Embassy mm. That's right. from Christ Embassy. You, I say back to because it's the it, it's the uh, Spirit, Christ Embassy is the genesis of That's Spirit right. Embassy. Right. So he's sending the gen, general into an offspring mm. of Christ Embassy to come and equip the saints mm. from the platform mm. of 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 good, the Good News World That's for right. the first time in history. Mm. So what um, the Most Reverend Tom is carrying. Mm. is going to be so special mm. it's going to be so unique yeah. it's going to be something that nobody can afford to miss that's right that's whatever right. message is being sent uh, from God via Pastor Chris mm. through the most reverend Tom that he needs to carry with urgency yes, yes. to Spirit Embassy and the followers of Spirit Embassy in the Good News World is going to be so special that's right it's not Watching on TV is not enough. Mm. No. <laughs> and and you've got to be there in person. Yes. Location matters. <laughs> right. And not only that, I would say it doesn't matter what denomination you are from, uh, which which part of Christianity you are, th- are from. Mm. One body. Be it with one body. Yes. And being in Zimbabwe on that period and being connected to that event mm. right. is something that is, is so special. Is so significant in the spirit That's right. um, that nobody can afford to miss it. And definitely, I'm going to be there. And I know we are going to be there together. Let's do it. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be really amazing. <laughs> so, I want to encourage anyone out there. As you said, this is for the entire body of Christ. Mm. So, this is not only denominational or only for spirit embassy or right. Christ, embassy, but the body of Christ. Something yes. is yes. happening. Yes. Yes. Something has been shifted yes. in the realm yes. of the spirit. Yes. And the body of Christ needs to grasp this mm. and with urgency. Mm. That you need to be there. Yes, you need yes, to understand that yes, something is yes, happening. And your presence there will mm. definitely be able to get something from that particular good news uh, Zimbabwe. Because I've met a guy always says, things of the spirit, uh, they are not taught. They are yeah, what caught. caught. That's right. God has given us a lot of opportunities, platforms to serve him in an excellent way. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are the hope for the hopeless. You are the answer. Good news, Zimbabwe. But most reverence, Tom Ameganani. You're going to see miracles, signs and wonders. And the word of God will be spoken into your life and over you. You will not fail. The choice is yours. To be a doer of the work or a hearer only.